Hello and Assalamu Alaikum my dear viewers and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we'll be talking about non-renewable energy and natural gas. First, we'll talk about non-renewable energy generally and its different types. And then we are going to look deeper into the major topic natural gas. So let's start. But before we start with the video, first hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell icon. Also share this video with your friends and family and relatives so that I get some support and get motivated to post more content like this. Now let's start with the video. First topic is non-renewable energy resources. So firstly, what are non-renewable energy resources? Non-renewable energy resources are formed under the Earth's surface and take billions of years to form. But the problem is that these resources cannot be reproduced at the same rate at which they are used. Some examples of such resources are some fossil fuels such as oil, gas and coal. Now, there are different types of non-renewable energy resources and they are coal, oil, natural gas and nuclear energy. Now we are going to talk about each of these in detail. Firstly, we are going to talk about coal. So basically, how is coal formed? So before the dinosaurs existed, there lived giant plants in swamps, which died over time and the remains of those plants got buried under sand, silt and rock. And those, oh, and those um, overpressurizing rocks, salt and silt produced a lot of pressure and heat on those remains which created coal over a long period of time. Now how is coal extracted? Coal is formed hundreds of feet under the earth's surface. So how do we extract it out of the earth? So basically the most common method of coal extraction is surface mining and this method is only used when the coal is within 200 feet of the earth's surface. So firstly, the soil or the overburden is removed and the coal is taken out of the ground using machines, cranes and trucks. After the mining and extraction, the soil or overburden is put back into its place and plants are grown in that place so that it restores the biological balance of the place and prevents erosion of the land. Now the second type of non-renewable energy resource is oil. Now what is oil? Oil is basically a fossil fuel and it is also called as petroleum. It is used to make different products after being refined because the oil we get from below the earth's surface is crude oil which is not really ready to use so we need to first refine it and produce products such as gasoline, diesel and jet fuel and this oil is formed from the remains of tiny sea plants and animals from millions of years ago. Now how is petroleum formed? So basically this process is going to be the same for petroleum or oil and natural gas. So basically 300 to 400 years ago, million years ago, there lived tiny sea plants and animals which died over time and their remains got pressurized under sedimentary rock and soil and that created a lot of pressure and heat on the remains and that produced oil and gas. Now what products can be made from oil? The major products that are made from oil are diesel, heating oil, gasoline and jet fuel. Now let's talk about natural gas. I know that we are going to talk about this later but right now we are just going to take an overview of this topic and we are going to talk about natural gas in more detail afterwards. So basically what is natural gas? Natural gas is a non-renewable fossil fuel and this is formed from remains of tiny sea plants and animals which lived 300 to 400 million years ago. Now what is natural gas comprised of? It, it is made mainly of methane but it also contains other gases like propane and butane. And the important thing is that all these gases are mostly flammable. Now we'll talk about how natural gas is formed. Now as I told you earlier that the process of formation of natural gas and oil is the same but let me just revise it. So basically tiny plants and animals lived in the sea 300 to 400 million years ago. And these plants eventually died and then their remains got buried under sand and silt and rock. And over time this produced a lot of heat and pressure 
on the remains and that created oil and gas reserves under the earth. Now the uses of natural gas are mainly heating, manufacturing, cooking, fuel for vehicles and electricity generation. Here I have a pie chart which shows the different amounts of natural gas that is used in different sectors. 31% of natural gas is used in industrial, 20% in residential, 34% in electric power, 13.8% in commercial and 0.14% in vehicle fuel. Now the last type of non-renewable energy resources are, is not nuclear energy. Now nuclear energy is formed from the nucleus of atoms. There are some elements that are radioactive by nature and they produce a lot of energy when their nucleus is either fused with other elements nucleus or when their nucleus is broken down. Now the most common element used for making nuclear energy is uranium. Now how is nuclear energy extracted? There are two ways of this. Nuclear fusion and nuclear fission. Now in nuclear fusion, two elements are combined together in a process of fusion and that creates a lot of energy which is called as nuclear energy. In nuclear fission, a nucleus is broken down into different byproducts and that produces a lot of energy. Now what is uranium? As I told you earlier that uranium is the most common element used for production of nuclear energy. Now uranium is a radioactive element so that's why it, it can produce nuclear energy. It is a non-renewable energy resource and it has a very abundant supply. That is why it's used in the production of nuclear energy. Now the advantages of non-renewable resources are they provide a lot of energy, they are easy to use and easy to store. They can be bought at affordable prices, they can be easily transported and they do not depend on other things. The disadvantages of using non-renewable energy are Production of non-renewable energy is very time consuming. They can be dangerous to human health, they produce a lot of greenhouse gases, they take millions of years to form so they will finish up eventually. And they can produce smog and acid rain. Our next topic is natural gas. Now what is natural gas? Natural gas is a mixture of gases that are rich in hydrocarbons. These gases are highly flammable and can easily produce a fire. This natural gas is found deep under the earth's surface and natural gas needs to be refined before it is used. Now what is natural gas made of? It is a mixture of mainly four gases, methane, ethane, propane and butane. It also contains small amounts of other gases, but those are very, very minor. Now, how is natural gas formed? I have already told you this earlier, but let me just revise it. Now, first, plant or animal matter that lived in the sea died and that produced fossils or remains. And that those remains or fossils got covered with rock and soil and silt and that produced heat and pressure which change the remains into oil and natural gas. The uses of natural gas are electricity generation, heating and cooling, water heating, transportation, cooking and electrical appliances. The environmental impact of natural gas. So natural gas some people think that it's very um, not harmful to the environment but indeed it is very harmful to the environment and now I'm going to discuss five ways in which it can impact the environment in a bad manner. Number one, global warming emissions. It produces such gases that can affect global warming and they can produce more global warming instead of reducing it. The gases that are produced when natural gas is burnt also pollute the air. When natural gas has to be drilled out of the earth's surface, they have to clear a lot of land and kill a lot of and cut down a lot of trees which destroy a lot of animals' habitats. So in that way, natural gas equipment can be set up for drilling. So land use and wildlife is a very major factor in the drilling of natural gas. Water pollution is also a very important factor because the waste material from the drilling of natural gas is thrown into the river which pollutes the water. Earthquakes are the most surprising one in this list. 
but they also have an explanation. When natural gas is drilled, this, produce, this produces tension in the Earth's tectonic plates, and therefore the tectonic plates bump into one another, and that produces earthquakes. Advantages of natural gas are they produce less soot, they are in abundant supply, it is cheaper to extract and buy, it is safer and easy to use, it does not affect the infrastructure, and it is easy to transport. Now, the disadvantages of natural gas are highly inflammable, they produce a lot of greenhouse gas emissions, they are non renewable energy resources, they are not easy to use, and the drilling and the equipment for the drilling is very, very expensive. Now here are the references and that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new and thank you for watching and see you in the next video.